Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is how do we know how strong is an earthquake, whether the earthquake is just minor that uh, the effects also cannot be felt or it is very major which, which caused a lot of destruction of life and property. So how do we measure an earthquake? So the strength of earthquake is measured in terms of Richter scale. So Richter scale was developed somewhere around 1935 by Mr. Charles Richter of California Institute of Technology. So what, what was done in this was a scale was devised where the amplitude of the vibrations which are caused by an earthquake were considered were taken on the y-axis so this is the y-axis so on y-axis was taken the magnitude of the earthquake in terms of the amplitude now from where will you get that amplitude we will see that a little later and on the x-axis was taken the magnitude of the earthquake in terms of the amount of energy which is released during an earthquake now an earthquake is going to be more strong or it, it is going to be more destructive if it is going to release more energy because to cause destruction you need energy. So if an earthquake is more severe that means it has more energy that it can destroy more houses, it can kill more people. So greater is the energy of released from an earthquake, greater is the magnitude of that earthquake. So the magnitude is measured in terms of the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and so on. And how do we get this magnitude? So this magnitude is taken along the x-axis but on the y-axis we take the amplitude produced by the shaking of the earth. So how do we measure that amplitude which takes place due to shaking of the earth. So we will see that a little later. So for that purpose we have a separate device. We will give us the amplitude and a logarithmic value of the amplitude is taken on the x-axis. So on the y-axis we take the amplitude. Let us suppose if I denote that with x and on y and on x-axis we take log base 10 of x. So that value is taken on the x-axis. So that is why Richter scale is a logarithmic scale. Now most of the earthquakes which happen are mostly minor. Now which earthquake is called minor? Any earthquake, earthquake with a magnitude less than 3 is considered to be a minor earthquake. So what do we mean by minor earthquakes? And these are also termed as microquakes. So in these kind of microquakes, sometimes the effect also is not felt. I mean, humans cannot feel the shaking also if the magnitude of the earthquake is less than 3. But anything which is above 7, so anything above 7 is going to be a real major earthquake which can actually cause destruction of life and property. So now again, Going back to the same question, how do we get x? We get, get it by log 10 of the value on the y-axis. Now the question is how do we measure this amplitude? So this x is nothing but the amplitude associated with an earthquake. So how do we measure this amplitude associated with an earthquake? So for that purpose, we have a device called seismograph. So we will discuss seismograph in the next slide. So with this we got to understand that this richer scale will tell us the magnitude of earthquake and how do we get the magnitude from logarithmic value of the amplitude and this will give us a rough idea about the amount of energy that is released during an earthquake. So more is the magnitude of earthquake, more is the amount of energy released, more is the amount of energy released, more is the destructive power of the earthquake. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.